Selling your business is a complex endeavor that requires careful planning and strategic thinking. One crucial aspect is deciding which employees on your team to involve in the process and when to do so. My name is Joe Anto with PCE Investment Bankers, and today I'll be discussing the factors to evaluate when considering who to include on your deal team and the potential benefits and risks of their involvement. Now, if possible, it's helpful to involve whoever is leading the finance function within your company, whether that be a bookkeeper, controller, or CFO. The initial phases of the sale process involves collecting a significant amount of financial and operational information. And having your finance leader on the deal team can speed up that initial diligence, which can allow you as the owner to focus on continuing to run the business in an optimal way. Their involvement helps ensure that the financial information presented is timely and accurate, which will be attractive to potential buyers and expedite the sale process. Now, once an LOI is executed with a potential buyer, it may make sense to involve other members of the management team to facilitate any business diligence that will accelerate the closing process. This could include team members that lead your sales and marketing function, as well as those that manage the internal operations of your business. They can help buyers understand the details involved in how your company functions and support you in conveying the story in an organized and compelling way. This can go a long way towards inspiring confidence with the buyer and ensuring that any remaining diligence goes smoothly so there are no hiccups on your way to closing the transaction. Now, involving members of your management team is not without risk. Their access to sensitive information about the sale increases the chances of information leaks, so you need to feel comfortable that they will be supportive of the process and keep that information in strict confidence. You also need to make sure that the news of the sale will not induce anyone on your management team to start looking for another role out of fear that their job may be eliminated post-sale. Good communication about how the transaction may benefit them, as well as a plan around putting retention bonus agreements in place can help calm potential fears and also give people a financial incentive to work towards closing the transaction. When it comes to involving the general workforce, timing is critical. Typically, it's prudent to involve them as close to closing the transaction as possible. And in some cases, it may be wise to announce a transaction to the employees right after it closes. This approach helps manage expectations and reduce uncertainty. Clear communication from both you as well as the buyer of the business about how the sale might impact employee roles and the company's culture is essential for maintaining morale, trust, and productivity during the transition period. The goal is to make them excited about the future prospects of the business. However, if not well managed, a deal announcement to your employees can lead to fear and misinformation, disrupting the workplace, and potentially affecting the buyer's ability to manage the business post-close. Employee reactions to the sale can vary and resistance to change might negatively impact company culture and work environment if communication about the sale isn't handled in the right way. Deciding who to involve in the sale process and when to do so is complex and depends on your company's unique circumstances. An experienced investment banker can help you plan strategically, ensuring clear communication for a successful sale. Thank you for joining me today, and if you like this video, please subscribe to our YouTube channel so that you'll be notified whenever new content is posted.